Hey guys, people keep asking me about PWAs, progressive web apps, what do I think about them? So let's first define what a PWA is and let's compare it to a responsive website or RWD, responsive web design, a lot of acronyms. So in a nutshell, Responsive web design, first of all, is basically writing your HTML5 and your CSS code so that the layout of the site will flex and change depending on the size of the screen of the web browser that is visiting your site. So if you have a, uh, a smartphone or you have a 75-inch flat panel TV, a properly coded responsive website or web app, will look just fine because with just some simple CSS code and uh, with proper HTML, of course, you can set up the uh, site so that it will flex and flow, images will change size, fonts will increase size, things will reposition depending on the size of the screen. It was uh, a huge, huge upgrade when responsive websites became a thing. So a progressive web app is basically taking responsive web design to its ultimate highest level. Essentially, a PWA, a progressive web app, you can think of it as responsive web design on steroids because it brings in all the power that comes with native HTML5 and CSS, and you throw in some JavaScript too to add some extra capabilities, of course. So, when you're looking at PWA, it's a competitor to writing native mobile applications, so Swift for iOS, Java or Kotlin for Android. What is the big advantage of PWA over native? Is that, well, you have one code base, so instead of having to write one app in I for iOS in, uh, in, in Swift, and then writing, having to write the whole app from scratch again, for Android in Java or uh, Kotlin. So PWA is a lot cheaper to get your app out there and you don't get the full benefit with a PWA that you get with native, but you get a lot of the benefits. Some of the things that you could do with PWA, because HTML has a thing, HTML5 rather, has a thing called local storage, you are able to create a PWA, a progressive web app that can be run offline. So the user does not have to be necessarily connected to the internet to use your app. So that's very cool. Another thing that um, PWAs take advantage of is HTML5 web workers or service workers. Essentially, if you know anything about threading in Java or C++, et cetera, it allows you to have multiple processes running at the same time in your PWA, in your progressive web app. So what's a multiple process? We have a few things happening at the same time. So the page, your PWA loads, the page loads, all the HTML and the CSS and the JavaScript. And then in the background, the PWA can be updating itself. It could be receiving information. It can be doing all kinds of different things. So PWAs, are very cool. On top of that, a PWA can be installed without having to go to an app store. A lot of us, and I'm one of them, we don't want to have to go to the app stores to download some mobile application. We don't want to install. With a PWA, somebody goes to, let's say, studioweb.com, they created a PWA if they felt a need for it, they'd be able to basically click a button and have an icon representing that PWA right on the desktop, if you will, of my mobile device. So it's very cool. PWA is run on mobile devices, runs on Windows, runs on tablets, runs on Mac, runs on all types of, of computers because it's leveraging web technology. Before I forget, one thing I keep telling people is that the web is the most important and probably your best bet in terms of stacks, programming stacks, coding stacks to learn because the web is so widely used. It could be used to create standard websites, it could be used to create responsive websites. If you want to go deeper, you can go into PWAs, you can go into hybrid if you want with things like PhoneGap. It's so, so flexible. It's, it's, it's just such a, a good place to start and maybe conduct your entire career as a developer, whether you do freelance or you go work for a company. Let me read a couple of bullet points. I'm reading from a Quora article, which I'll link to in the um, 
in the descriptions. Characteristics of progressive web apps. It provides super rich experiences. Due to modern web standards, it offers appealing user experiences. Because you got to think of a PWA is kind of like, as I said, it's kind of like um, a responsive website on steroids. So you have all the capabilities of a responsive website. It is a responsive web. A PWA is this a highly specialized, if you will. It's a responsive website, but it has more stuff on top of that, like l using local storage and everything. Again, this is all run within the web browser. So it's just a capability of modern web browsers. The term progressive web app was coined by Google people, a couple of Google, Google engineers, I think a Chrome engineer or something. And it's nothing special. It's just Again, it's part of the spec, it's part of the HTML5 spec, which includes CSS3, modern JavaScript, and of course, HTML5. So let me read some of these bullet points. Next one, app-like experience. While using it, you will feel native-like experience and functionalities. With a properly coded PWA, you can have this perception of, of, of major speed. It, the, the screen refreshes, can be really fast. It's a very, very, it's a very nice experience. It's not going to be as good as native, but for most application needs, it's probably more than enough. It's secure, of course, because you can run it over HTTPS. Again, this is all built into the browser. It's very responsive. PWAs work best for mobile, desktop, tablets in terms of responsiveness. Again, as I said, a PWA is like a responsive website on steroids. So you have all the capabilities of a responsive website. To give you an idea, Studio Web is a responsive web app and it runs on all types of devices. I haven't gone PWA because there hasn't been a need for it. When you're coding a PWA, you're actually you're adding an extra layer of complexity. So there is more work to create a PWA because not only you have to do everything in a responsive site, you have to do even more. So whether you use a PWA for your website or not depends on the circumstances. Uh, I was reading some data showing that PWA-based sites have a tremendous increase in performance, tremendous increase in ROI, return on investment. Bottom line is, is that I think a lot of people, as I said just earlier, a lot of people are like me. They don't want to necessarily have to uh, install some app from some vendor somewhere. Right? They rather rather you just go to a site. Hey, I like I like this studio web. Click, boom, and the PWA version of Studio Web's installed. So I put it on the desktop. Sure, click, bang. That's it. You don't have to go to the app store. You don't have to search. Blah blah blah. This is better. So let me finish off the discussion of uh, PWAs. I would consider PWA as a need to nerd technology. Essentially, you would use it on rare occasions. A lot of businesses including Studio Web, doesn't need PWAs. And so it's a responsive site. It does everything that you could possibly need. Maybe if I wanted to have offline viewing uh, of Studio Web, then I might go PWA. But again, because we have a lot of video, I don't think that makes sense. I don't think people want to download hundreds of videos on their uh, mobile device, right? PWAs will allow you limited access to underlying hardware on a phone, on a tablet, but it's limited. I'm not sure. It's a moving target. So apparently it, it, they're, they're trying, they're working to make it more and more capable in terms of being able to access like cameras and stuff. I don't think it can at this point. So when you need to access cameras or a gyroscope or some, some hardware inside of your mobile device, you may have to go native in those situations. But understand, when people write native, as I've been saying in other videos, it's very expensive. Now, PWAs will, complete, will compete with things like PhoneGap. Uh, they will compete with uh, things like Flutter, which just came out 1.0, Flutter, another Google product. It's... Um, Again, it's a need to nerd technology. For me, I think that most of us, most of the time, if you're developing web apps and websites, we're just gonna be doing responsive, which you should do by default, by the way. And by the way, in my CSS3 course, in my web stack course, you learn was responsive web design, fantastic. That will solve 99, I would guess 98, 99% of web projects and app 
projects will be, uh, responsive sites will be fine. The next level would be a PWA it, if you will. Again, think of a PWA as being responsive web, web design on steroids, You're adding all of its extra capabilities. And to sum it up, PWAs run in the browser. They have all kinds, all the power of the browsers are there. Local storage, I mean, you can save files locally, so things can run offline. You have built-in security with HTTPS. And you don't have to go to an app store to install an app. And the data shows that people are far more likely, 67% in one article I read, will make purchases through a PWA versus buying within an app. So as I said in previous videos, much to the chagrin of Swift developers and maybe Kotlin Android developers, I believe that the future for mobile development will be largely in uh, hybrid solutions or things like PWAs or perhaps Flutter because people don't want to have to write an app for iOS in Swift and then write, have to write the whole thing again for Android in Kotlin or Java. Maintaining two code bases is very expensive. You got to get a competent Swift coder. You got to get a competent Java coder or Kotlin coder who knows Android. It's just a... Uh, but if you do a responsive site, first level, second level, you do PWA, or maybe you go into PhoneGap, or maybe you go into, um, or maybe you go into Flutter. That's a better solution, right? You always have to consider technology. Consider the business implications, not just the nerd implications. At the end of the day, all this technology is there to get a job done. The job is either to save money or to get it, attract an audience, and we want to get there as quickly and as fast as possible. And remember, native it runs slicker and faster. You can't obviously beat native, although Flutter compiles down to native. But even a PWA, you know, properly structured with modern smartphones, psh, the, the speed difference, if it takes two tenths of a second to load a PDA, a PWA screen versus if you go native and it takes one tenth of a second, I don't think that one tenth of a second difference is going to make much of a difference. And remember, phones are just getting faster and faster every year.